845, the road to recovery can be long for some patients dealing with COVID-19, but there's a special unit where they can get the proper care they need. Dr. Ralph Wong from Mary Freebad Rehabilitation joining us with the details. Good morning, doctor. Hey, how are you? Oh, we're doing great. Thanks so much for being here. So, you know, tell us how Mary Freebed is helping folks recovering from COVID-19. Sure. Uh, about one month ago, uh, we opened a inpatient uh, COVID recovery unit. So uh, those who are hospitalized with our partners hospitals such as Spectrum or Metro, uh, but they're too weak to go home, they come over to our unit for two or three weeks to get stronger. Uh, in a safe way so they don't uh, get other patients infected and a way to protect the staff also. Doctor, talk about uh, what the, the COVID-19 does to some of these folks' bodies. So I think um, as we, we all know, uh, primarily a lot of the issues are with the respiratory symptoms. So, uh, you know, the lungs and problems breathing and uh, we do though see a lot of uh, challenges with the heart, heart rate, heart attacks. Uh, we do in the severe cases see issues with the brain also with uh, anxiety and also memory issues. So, uh, and then of course, for those who are uh, in the hospital for prolonged periods, we see extreme weakness. Uh, so those are the ones that we see and, and they can't walk, uh, they can't use the toilet. Uh, some even have, uh, their swallowing is even affected. Yeah, I was going to ask, you know, what does this rehab look like? So we have uh, many team members and uh, primarily uh, we have physical therapy and they work with the walking and endurance. Occupational therapy works with uh, what we call activities of daily living. And so that's like using the toilet or showering. Uh, we actually have speech therapy uh, for those who have trouble swallowing. Uh, they also work with the memory problems and executive functioning. Uh, of course, nutritionists and, and uh, psychology sees all of our patients too uh, due to some of the depression and anxiety we see. Well, doctor, thanks so much for being with us some more, uh, this morning. We certainly appreciate it. A lot of good things happening over there. Thank you. Thank you for your time.